Okay, so here we are. This is day number 10. Huh? Day 10. This is day number 10. Day 10? You have two more days. And you're down three games to two. Wait a minute. Yeah, okay. And you're down three games to two. Right. So you lose this game, it's over. Yeah, I know. You know, and you go back to Cleveland with your tail between your legs. Okay? And Kathy will be up, uh, Kathy will be up shortly. Should we go to the 4.30? Whatever you want. Kathy's coming up around 1.30. Oh, 1.30. I'm going to a movie, and you're going to stay here and wait for her. Oh, okay. She's coming with Drew. Who are you going to a movie with? With Tim. Huh? Tim. Oh, with Tim. Okay. Okay. So you'll stay here and I'll go to the movie. So when do I get my mulligan? Huh? When do I get my mulligan? Whenever you want it, I guess. <laughs> so you got me. Huh? You got me. Are you happy about that? Huh? You got me. Where? That's it. How do you figure? Well, because I can't win. Huh? I can't win. You can move something else. No, but I know you have my queen and you've got all my pieces. So you beat me pretty bad. Huh? You beat me pretty bad this game. I know. So that makes it three games to two in one mulligan game. Yeah. Right? Right. You're good. But the game's not over yet. But I'm going to give up. Oh, are you? I don't have much of a hope. We'll see what happens. Huh? We'll see what happens. Kathy's here with Andrew and Bijan, and Panu. And who else? Panu. Who's that? Bijan's wife. Oh, okay. I'm with you. Come on up. They're waiting for the garage. Okay. It'll be good to see them. <laughs> yes, it will. When was the last time you saw Kathy? Maybe when she was in Cleveland. When was that? A year or two ago? I'm not sure exactly. Well, they're in the garage waiting for you. Okay. Make sure they don't hit anything. They're okay. They're doing fine. When's the last time you saw the boys? I'm not sure. Huh? I'm not sure. Oh. Maybe it was at uh, a wedding. Yeah. A wedding. I think it was at a wedding. But whose wedding? Who's was that? Hi. How's it going? I'm doing a video of Grandpa. Hi, Kathleen. The How twelve. Are you? The twelve days of Dad. Andrew. Yes. Hey, you look good. You're big. <laughs> You're big. Good yeah. to see you. How hey, you Drew. doing? Have a good. nice ride. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. And there's Bijan. Hello. And there's Kathy. Okay. And Panu. And Panu. Kathleen. Where's how Panu? Are you? There's Panu. Good. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah. Too. Good to see you. You have your hearing yeah. aids in. Yeah, I got them in. Hi. Hi Ken. Yeah, I've seen you before. Oh, guys, yeah. Remember the last time you? you were here? Yes. Yeah, Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hi, Grandpa. Hi, Hi, how are you? Good. Did you have a nice trip? I did. Good. Come on in. Come on in. Can you close the garage door? Yes. Everybody made it. Yeah, that's great. Let the party begin. Okay. Look all right? Yeah. So we got some bubbly. You know how to open that? No, you want to open huh? it? Huh? You can open it. You want to open it? Go you ahead. Open it? Go ahead. You can do it. No, you Just don't hit Panu. Wait a minute. Yeah, twist that off. Hmm? 
Twist it off. There you go. When's the last time you opened a bottle of champagne? Well, I don't remember. It was with that little Japanese girl over in Japan, wasn't it? I'm not sure. After the war. Careful. Careful. You, you want to open it? This to, you I don't want to do it? You open I think it. you're supposed to use that. Okay, Drew's going to open it up. Okay, Dad, so you have uh, two, of your, two of your many nephews here at the table. Yeah, I know. Right? You haven't seen them for a while. A couple years, probably. Now, at, at, at 80, 83 years, you just turned 83? 83, you're right. turn that down. What uh, what words of wisdom would you share with them? Oh, I don't really have any words of wisdom. You have no words of wisdom. No, just take take your time, do everything as best you can. You know, treat people, treat people the way you'd want to be treated yourself. You know, that's all. Uh, that's about the best thing I can say. What about sauntering? Sauntering. <laughs> Half of the people in New York do this, they saunter. And you kind of wonder, well, what is sauntering? You know, uh, saunter, you guys are too young at this point, but sauntering is going through life at a nice, slow, leisurely pace and not missing a trick along the way. Can you do that? You can try. Try. You can saunter now if you want to. Mm -hmm. You go through life and you don't miss a trick along the way. And what advice would you give this young man to have a nice, long, happy, healthy marriage? Oh yeah. Huh? To treat you her have right. A real nice, happy marriage. And are you guys gonna go on the road to holism with eleven children? No. no. Huh? No. 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 <laughs> Maybe eleven dogs. <laughs> eleven dogs. Oh okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. And uh, let's see, what else did I learn from you? It's not how much money you make, but how much you save. Yeah, right. That's important? That's right. It's not how much you make, it's always how much you save, because he has a lot of these uh, websites that, that he makes monies at. But I always ask him, how much are you saving? You know. Mm -hmm. so. And people uh, don't remember how fast you did a job, right? Not just how well you do it. Exactly. The quality, how mm -hmm. well you do the job. It's the speed has nothing to do with it. It's how well you do it. That's what people will remember, mm. the quality of work. True words of wisdom. Is that right? You're one of the wisest guys I ever met. <laughs> oh, not really. One of the things that you taught me about that I value and I'll value for the rest of my life. What's that? is how important it is to have confidence in yourself. Oh, that's right, yeah, right. Remember the balloons under each arm and don't right. pinch the balloons? And I always I always ask Tom about his confidence level, what it is, you know, 10 being the highest, and a lot of times he's pretty close to 10. And after winning three games of chess, Ooh. one with a mulligan, you're pretty confident now, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, but I made mistakes. And then on the fourth game, believe it or not, I was going to lose my queen. And Tom says, well, do you want a mulligan? You know what a mulligan is, Pano? It's a free do-over. A mulligan, it's, a do -over. Is, it's like in golf, a mulligan, if, if you uh, miss a stroke or something, you don't count it. Mm -hmm. Well, I was going to lose a queen in the fourth game. And Tom says, do you want a mulligan? Okay. Now you have to, you have to remember, we were going to play seven games. And the best out of seven was supposedly the best player. Okay. And tomorrow night we'll, uh, tomorrow night we'll finish. Right. So, Dad, I have another topic that I'd like to talk about that we What's haven't discussed that? this week. What's that? You know what this is? Thank you. Passport? Huh? Passport? Yeah. This is, uh, this is your father's passport. My dad's? Look. Mm. Care, don't get anything on it. It's very old. Oh, yeah. That's your dad's passport. Your sister gave it to me. Okay. Istvan was your father's name. What was it? Istvan. 
How do you spell that? I S T V A N. I S T V A N. V A N. Istvan. Istvan. Okay. And in Hungarian, that's the equivalent of calling somebody Steve. Oh, I see. Okay. Your mother didn't call him Istvan, huh? I don't think so. She didn't say Geta, 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 Istvan, Geta. But Which his means... last name is, is that H-E-L? H-E-L. H-E-L with a one L? Yes. And then when he came over... Yeah, but it looks like there's two L's. There's not. But when he came over, they changed it to Hall. Right. Right. Was he, I, I heard that he could do anything. <laughs> yeah, he was pretty good with his hands. And you know that he was, uh, he, he spent time in a Siberian prison camp. Yes, I know that. Did he talk about that very much? Not that much, no. When he was talking to you kids, did he talk about the days that he spent three years in Siberia? No, he didn't uh, talk about it that much, but uh, one day he turned up into Cleveland and his, um, his mother and dad were in, Cle in Cleveland and they thought that he had died during the war. Oh. All of a sudden he showed up in Cleveland. You know, a Russian, a Russian nurse helped him escape. Oh, okay. And you know what her name was? Olga. Olga. And that, they named your sister after that nurse that helped them escape from the Soviets. Yeah, okay. Wow. All right. And what did he do for work? For work? Yeah. He did maintenance work at the place they call the Hannah Building around 18th and Euclid downtown. Yeah. He cleaned windows. He cleaned the inside of the buildings, the offices. Didn't he play the piano? Yes, he did. He played the piano, I remember. Yes. He and learned it. he learned it by ear or something. He learned it by ear, right? Yeah, right. And he uh, was he was he a uh, friendly guy? Yes. Oh yeah, sure. Real friendly. Did he like to laugh? Sure. Mm -hmm. And a good father? He was a yeah, good father? He was a good father. Was he strict? No, I don't think so. Didn't he uh, didn't he, was it you that you had to kneel down on popcorn on the kitchen floor as a punishment? Yeah, yeah but our uh, mother made us do that, not my dad. Oh, your mother made you do that. What was your mother's name? Mm, Julia. Julia, was she stricter than your father? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did your dad play chess? Yes. He did? He was good. And did you play him? Yeah. Could you I beat played. him? Huh? Could you beat him? I don't think I ever beat him. He was very good. Yeah? But he was quite an incredible guy. Yeah, he was good. Quite an incredible guy. Kids liked him. I wish that I could have met him. Yeah. You know what? Someday... Maybe you did because he was... He came over when the kids were small. But I was very, very, very small, so I don't have any memory of him. Oh. All I have is a picture that's dated, you know, almost... Uh, almost a hundred years. Right. That's one of the reasons that I'm doing these videos is because for generations to come when somebody says, what was Ernie Hall like? Oh, you're not going to show them. Oh, these are going to be published all over the world. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you like that idea? Wow. Huh? All right. Know. Well, let's finish our dinner. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever danced a Y dance, okay? And she would say, no, I never have danced a Y dance. And then you would turn to her because of her beauty and everything like yourself and say, well, you know, there's so many other things to do, so why dance? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That is the Y dance. Do you have the locket then? No. All right. We'll see ya. So we'll uh, try. We'll try again tomorrow. Right. Try again. Whatever tomorrow. we didn't do today. Right. Okay. We'll see ya. See ya. Good night. Great determination and great heart. Is that bed up there comfortable? Very comfortable. It's a nice bed. Yeah. All right. Sweet dreams. Yeah. Take care. Bye. Giant.